So this is the last example we have from section 7.3. Now this one says, use the disc or shell method. And when they say disc, they could mean washer. It all depends on the image, right? Um, find the volume of the solid formed by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of the equations about each of the given lines. So you've got to do this problem four times. It's the same functions, same region, but revolving about four different places, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is figure out what's the region. Now they don't tell me the x values for this region, okay, so we're gonna have to find those. So let's go ahead and set this function equal to this function, okay? So we have 1 plus x minus 2 square root of x equal to 0. Now if I want to get rid of this square root, I'm going to have to move over these two terms. And then if I square both sides, I'm going to get a positive 4x. And here if I square this, I'm going to end up with x squared plus 2x plus 2. And then if I move the 4x over, I will have x squared minus 4x. Oh no, that'll give me negative 2x plus 2. Um, oh, I messed up. Negative 1 and negative 1 is actually a positive 1. I was like, this should be factorable. Now it is x minus 1 and x minus 1 or just x minus 1 squared which means we will connect at x equal to 1 okay so if I draw my region here I've got x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 now when x is equal to 0 the value of this function is 1 And when x equals 1, we get 0. And the function does curve downward like this. It's not straight. It does have a curve to it. I'm sorry I didn't draw much of a curve to it. I tried. But it should have a curve. It's definitely not a straight line. Okay. Now x equal to 0 is this line here, y equal to 0 is this line here, and this is the region we're talking about. And for some reason, oh, for part A, they want us to figure out what's going on if we revolve about the x-axis. So that means we're revolving here. If I want to use a vertical rectangle, that means I need to be perpendicular, which means I need to use the disk method. Since the region touches the line of revolution entirely, I am going to just use the regular disk method. So volume equals pi from zero to one, and then your radius squared. The radius is this equation. Now this I do have to actually foil out so let's see what we get here. Um, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times x is x. 1 times that is that. Um, x times 1 is x. x times x is x squared. x times this is negative 2x to the 3 halves. 1 and a half is 3 halves. Then this times 1 is negative 2 x to the 1 half, which is the square root of x. And then this times this is negative 2 x to the 3 halves. And then this times itself is positive 4 x to the 1 fourth. Or no, I'm sorry. 1 half and 1 half is 1. So just 4x. And if I simplify that, 
I get 1x x and x is 6x plus an x squared minus 4x to 1 half and minus 4x to the 3 halves. So we can apply our power rule x plus 3x squared plus x cubed over 3 minus 4x to the 3 halves times 2 over 3 minus 4x to the 5 halves times 2 over 5 from 0 to 1. So we get 1 plus 3 plus 1 third minus 8 thirds minus 4, no, minus 8 fifths. Minus, if I plug in 0 for each term, I'm going to get a big fat 0. So I have 1 plus 3 plus 1 third minus 8 thirds minus 8 fifths. And I get 1 over 15, which means we end up with pi over 15 as our volume there. Okay. Now we are revolving around different things. So the volume is not going to be the same every single because they will create different images every single time. But let's go ahead and move on to part B. So again, I'm going to draw the figure. Here's one, here's one. I got a point there and a point there. And I kind of got a curve. I didn't draw that too great, but it's okay. And this time I'm revolving about the y-axis. So I'm revolving around this. Now if I want to continue using vertical rectangles, that's fine, but notice that they're parallel, which means I need to use shell method. So for this one, part B, you have to do 2 pi, 0 to 1 for the x's. The height will just be that equation again. And then the row will be the region minus the line. So x for the region, 0 for the line. So if I distribute this x, I will get x minus x squared minus 2x to the 3 halves. And if I integrate, oh, no more s because I'm going to actually integrate. From 0 to 1. So get 1 half minus 1 third minus 4 fifths minus a big fat 0. So we end up with Oh, I made a mistake. My function is 1 plus. So let's see. 1 half plus 1 third minus 4 fifths. I get... 2 pi times 1 over 30, which reduces to pi over 15. Now coincidentally, and that is pure coincidental, that this volume is the same as the other volume. Because before you were creating an object like this, and now you're creating an object like that. It may just be that this graph is symmetrical with respect to the x-axis and with respect to the y-axis. 
which is why you got um, the same volume. But normally that's not the case. So let's see, the next one is the about the line x equal to one. So same region, but we're revolving around this line here. So again, if you want to integrate with respect to x, you have to use a vertical rectangle. These two are parallel, which means I will have to use the shell method. So the volume equals two pi. My x values are from zero to one. The height is just the value of this function. And then here is different. The row is is uh, the rev the difference between the line of revolution and the sh and the region. However, this time your line of revolution is on the right, so you have to put that value, which is one minus x for the region. That means that this one's going to be a little bit more complex to compute because I've got to foil that out, or not foil but distribute. So I'm gonna go ahead and integrate this. Oh, no more S once you're integrating. So I get X minus X cubed over three minus two X to the three halves times two over three plus two X to the five halves times two over five. All evaluated from zero to one. So we have one minus one third minus four thirds plus two oh, plus four fifths. Minus a big fat zero when I plug in zero for everything. So one minus a third minus four thirds plus four fifths. we get two over 15, which is two, or I'm sorry, four pi over 15 in the end. And that's the volume of this figure. So this figure will be going, it will create like a bowl on this particular problem. A bowl with the flat bottom. Now, let's see, we have one more, the line y equal to one. So same region, but this time we're revolving around the line y equal to one. This one's gonna get a little bit weird, okay? So revolving around the line y equal to one. I do still wanna do vertical, just because I like integrating with respect to x. Also, I don't think I could solve that equation, this equation, for x. I don't think I could solve it for x. So I'm going to go ahead and just integrate with respect to x. Now here the pair, the line, the, the rectangles and the line of revolution are perpendicular which means we'll have to use disk method or washer method. Now notice that the region does not touch the line of revolution everywhere. It just touches it one spot and that's it. So I do have to use the washer method, which means I'm going to have pi from 0 to 1, because those are my x values, but I'm going to have the outer radius minus the inner radius, each squared, right? So let's think about that. The outer radius, if this is my center, of the solid because it's going around and around and around. That's the center. This is the outer radius. And that measurement is just one unit because this is y equals to one. However, the inner radius is this here. 
And if you do top minus bottom, it's going to be one minus that function. So let's simplify that. Here you get one minus one. Actually, let me simplify inside the parentheses first. So one minus one minus x plus two x to the one half. Oh no, I'm sorry, I have to square things. So yeah, I have to do that. One minus one and then we'll square this after we simplify what's inside this parentheses. So these two are going to actually reduce. And you end up with this times itself. So then I have 1 minus x squared plus 4x to the 3 halves minus 4x dx. And then let's integrate. So we get x minus x cubed over 3 plus 4 times x to the 5 halves times 2 to the 5th minus 2x squared. It would be 4x squared over 2, but the 2's would reduce from 0 to 1. So if I plug in 1, I will get 1 minus 1 third plus 8 fifths minus 2 and minus 0. So let's see. Clear. I get 4 over 15, which is 4 pi over 15. Again, coincidental. Probably has to do with the symmetry of this thing. So it didn't matter whether I was um, creating the bowl going this way or creating the bowl going this way. Um, the symmetry of this with respect to these axes made it so that they were both the same volume. Okay. That's typically not the case, but in this case, due to symmetry, it worked out that way.